Now to that exclusive interview with Vice President Kamala Harris tonight. Some economists throwing up red flags about the state of the economy. So what's being done to support Virginia business? 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith has this story you'll see only on 8. Well, the vice president tells me that the Biden-Harris administration has been working to create jobs, more than 230,000 of them in the last month alone. But that presents another challenge, with small business owners struggling to fill the positions they already have. Air Force Two touching down in Richmond as Vice President Kamala Harris paid a visit to the River City. It is always good to be in Virginia. Small businesses are the backbone of America's economy. Vice President Harris stopping here at Babylon Micro Farms in Scott's Edition to highlight the work of small businesses and speaking with 8 News in an exclusive interview on the economic challenges of Virginians. Actually creating incentives for people who are entrepreneurial, people who have an idea to actually start a business. In fact, here in Virginia, We've seen 255,000 filings for new businesses. In March, we saw 143,000 Virginians who were unemployed, but small business owners are still saying, hey, I'm having trouble hiring. So what do you say to people on both sides of that challenge? Well, I understand the concerns of the, the, the employers, and we want to do everything we can to grow the workforce. And that's a lot of the, the, the work that we have been doing that's been about apprenticeships and making sure that people have options in terms of skills development and, and training to be able to take on the jobs that need to be performed. The Biden-Harris administration calls it a small business boom, citing businesses like Babylon Micro Farms, which has received grant money to support its work. The company uses a water-based nutrient solution rather than soil to make indoor farming accessible. Now, as for the state of the economy, Harris tells me the administration is working to address the cost of food, gas and health care, something they plan to carry on over the next four years. In Richmond, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News. Olivia, thanks. And tomorrow you can see the full interview with Vice President Harris right here on ABC 8.